Midway into the CSIR and its syllabus, we meet with Inheritance Biology, Unit 8. But don't you feel it seems like it's been a decade studying? Yeah. I feel like while shooting this show, I feel like, okay, we've been doing so long. Now it's the eighth episode. We are midway. But one thing is very interesting about CSI and its syllabus. It's vast, agreed. It's challenging, agreed. But it prepares you for the future. The scientists or the researchers who have set this syllabus were very smart, actually. They wanted to make sure that no matter which research field you want to go in, you will be ready, you'll be prepared. And you will not just come out as a, a geneticist or an ecologist or a botanist, rather you will be an all-rounder. In fact, that's why no matter wherever Indian scientists go, they're called as all-rounders. So without wasting much of your time, I know exams are near, so we will switch to our Unit 8 today, Inheritance Biology, and today we have one of the best experts Biotechnic has got for genetics, none other than Tithi Ma'am. Tithi Ma'am has been with us for a decade now and she has taught many, 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 many students. And uh, uh, let me remind all of you that so many webinars she conducts on Biotechnica's platform and I'm sure you must have met her in one of them. Her insights, her thoughts are revolutionary, logical, inspirational. At the same time, she's a very understanding human being. As a teacher, she makes sure that genetics becomes so lucid, so easy, that students even today come back from their PhD and ask questions to her. Such is the aura, intelligence, and talent of the Ma'am. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Let's join hands to welcome Titi Ma'am. Titi Ma'am, thank you so much for joining. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm good, sir. Hello. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much, sir, for having me here. This is some one of a kind of a show where we are talking about each and every unit separately with the experts. Right. Right. Thank you so much for your appreciation. So, uh, Titi Ma'am, we were just uh, talking prior to this show about genetics and how challenging it gets at times. At the same time, it is very, very interesting as well. So what do you think on a scale of 0 to 10, how difficult it is to prepare 0 being easy and 10 being toughest? Uh, sir, I think I will keep it somewhere between 7 and 8. Mm -hmm. The thing is, the topic is not that difficult if we are exposed to it properly. But the Correct. main problem is that our exposure lies. Like, mm -hmm. it, it's it's not that much. Like, even if we take the... So, myself, I have done my uh, graduation in genetics. But let me tell you, when I saw the syllabus, I felt like I know nothing. Because <laughs> we were, right. in the colleges, we are taught in a very theoretical Different manner. Way. Nobody teaches us the numericals or the application part of it, which CSR exam covers very well. Right, right. That that's once a very we are exposed to the topic. When once somebody says that these are also the things which are there in genetics, then I think it becomes very easy. But the major problem mm -hmm. is majority of the students are not exposed to the topic. Topic. Right, right. So, ma'am, how scoring is this topic? If we look at uh, unit eight, how many questions comes and how much marks we can expect from this? Uh, sir, every year around 12 to 14 questions for sure comes from unit A. Okay. And mm -hmm. like I will put like around 5 to 6 from part B and 7 to 8 from part C. Now, why am I putting mm -hmm. more questions on parts? First, questions come not only from unit A, but in a combination with other units as well. Other where units. we should have right. the background of genetics also. Right, and right. For the scoring part, yes, very scoring because, like, as we all know, numericals are scoring, and in in unit eight, lot of numerical portions are there. But so you have to get it right it properly. Definitely, it's a very scoring part. Very true. Very true. So, uh, and at the same time, uh, so is unit eight a factual unit or a logical unit? How should we study with logic or with just memorizing the facts? No, sir. Like we have to do the logic. Basic logic. concepts right. and logic. Yes. Right. Facts. Right. There are very few things that we have to actually memorize. Nothing like mm -hmm. that here. 
maybe you right. can put the formulas something as like you have to memorize but then also if you understand the logic you don't even have to memorize the formula of course of course so, so students audience right so audience and students who watch unit 6 and 7 you saw there uh, okay facts are more memorization is more here logic is more so if your logical memory is strong probably you should go for this unit that's a very good insight from ma'am so ma'am uh, looking at the syllabus now so which you uh, which sub units are uh, most important and which ones we can skip uh from you uh, from unit 8 the most important i'll start from the beginning so mendelian yeah. principles definitely very very important the basic right. terminologies and concepts like homozygous heterozygous homologous alleles mm -hmm. genes like mm -hmm. these are very basic and basic. often students confuse with the terms and if they right. confuse then like you cannot think about uh, going into the deeper topics if you cannot understand this basic terminology so that is right mm -hmm. then a major mm -hmm. portion of unit 8 which is covered by gene mapping which is extremely important like every year every session you can leave any other topic from unit 8 but one question minimum part c will definitely come from gene mapping so like okay. it can be recombination of frequency based question or it can be uh, marker based questions but gene mapping for sure Okay. And mutations also is quite an important subunit from this uh, topic, and mm -hmm. if we see something to skip, then uh, in uh, extra chromosomal inheritance is one topic which is like quite simple compared skipped. to the other topics. Yes, right. Skip and also barely ever questions come from there. Right. I right. uh, would have asked me. I would have said quantitative genetics also, but mm -hmm. since last couple or three four years. Questions. It has become important. Okay. And okay. So the trend has changed. Yes. Okay. So, sir, actually, the thing is, CSIR has not changed their syllabus. Like it's been a decade right. past that the syllabus is same. Fifteen so years. So I think yeah. they have to change the type of questions that they are asking, and that is what they are doing. Yes. Okay, that's how the trend is changing. Okay, nice insight there. Okay, so ma'am, now now that uh, we you know, uh, okay, genetics. Uh, this is how we have to study, and these are the topics we have to study. So, what are the standard books we should go for? According to you. Yeah. So personally, my favorite is I Genetics by uh, Peter Russell. Like I find okay. they it covers all the concepts very nicely and the language. Okay, mm -hmm. because we are not English speaking nation, so we have our constraint in understanding the language. So, right. Peter Russell's book, like it's very easy English, very well uh, demonstrated with the pictures and very well described the topic. So, my personal favorite is uh, I Genetics by Peter Russell. Otherwise, okay. we can go for Principle of Genetics by Gardner, Nusser, and Simmons, which is also a very internationally acclaimed standard book for genetics. Standard book. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then, uh, okay. genetics uh, conceptual approach by Pierce, and also concepts of genetics by Clug and Cummings. All these books are good, and like students can refer to any of these books, and it's good. Okay, so ma'am, uh, because students now prepare don't just for CSI, and they look for GATE, DBT, ICMR, and various other entrance exams. So, uh, in this show, we always ask this: that will studying this unit help me in other entrance? So, what's your take on that? Yes, for sure. Yes. Because uh, okay. if we see the DBT's syllabus, if we see the GATE BT syllabus, also if we mm -hmm. see GATE Excel syllabus, they right. all cover genetics. There is a special mention of genetics in it. So Correct. even though in our colleges, even in post graduation, we don't cover genetics so much as a topic with other applied sciences or even the pure sciences, but all these exams definitely have genetics in their uh, syllabus. Okay. Okay. So studying this is going to help me cover almost all the other entrance exams. Also, wonderful. Sure, sure. So uh, that means this is a must go for unit for CSI and at life sciences, right? Okay. So, ma'am, uh, now we know the difference book topics, and uh, next comes notes. Like, okay, how should we make the notes, and so that it is easier to revise, and uh, what should be our strategy while preparing notes for this unit? 
uh, sir, here for preparing notes, I think it is good that we always make the pictorial diagrams or we refer mm -hmm. to the figures. Because whenever right. we talk about genetics, there are crosses involved, there is an inheritance pattern there. So it's always Absolutely. better to represent it in terms of figures, flowchart, or tables. Okay. Figures, so that will be easy for our revision as well. At the time of revision, we just have to take a glimpse. But like, these are all very thick books, all these standard books, like thousand over pages they have. So it will take some time if we can just gather the important things on it and make a table mm -hmm. or flowchart kind of a, uh, right. Uh, notes. Right. So right, right, right. Okay. So ma'am, uh, we know the approach now for making notes. How about revision? Should we just go for maximum cost question practice or we should, you know, look at other facets of this unit? Uh, we should actually try to solve questions because as I said, sir, numericals are a very important Absolutely. part of them, just like unit one also. And mm -hmm. being biology students, we have a tendency of running away from maths. Yeah, so we that, like maths a less, little less. Yeah. <laughs> yes, so even though right. it's not that they are including calculus or anything, it's simple multiplication division only. But yeah, we yeah. are scared. Like as soon as we hear maths, it's like our brain has shut down. We cannot understand. It's quite hard though. Let's remove it. <laughs> right, right, yeah. right. So okay. that is what we have to try to solve and practice these numericals. So Maximum. When, yeah. When we okay. expose ourselves to that, then we will feel like we, we are not that scared. These are not that tough. We can handle it. So that, right. kind, that kind of builds the confidence. Okay. And I think Toughnet is the best book, I think, uh, when it comes to revising from previous question papers, because you have the toughest, most question of part B and part C yes. at one place. So that's yes. a very nice point there. Thank you, ma'am. So, okay. Uh, so while preparing for this unit, what are the challenges which an average student will face. One you said is okay because it's not taught in uh, regular uh, colleges properly. So yeah, that will be a challenge, overall challenge. But in specific particular, what do you think will be the challenges the average student will, student will face while preparing for this unit? So one thing is about that exposure. Another thing is that numerical block, like we have uh -huh. block about mathematics. So, okay. and also the other thing that often students ask us is, ask me in the class that, ma'am, where can we get more questions on it to practice? Because mm -hmm. we often, what we do is we read, first of all, sir, in the colleges, what I have mm -hmm. experienced is the teachers print out the notes from the book and they just give it. We just yeah. take the notes, very lesser time that we actually go to a library and refer to these books. Yeah, standard books. And right. And after the chapter in all the standard books, there are questions. Actually, there are conceptual questions. There are analytical questions, but we often skip them. We don't even see that there are questions after the chapter. We just become blind to them. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so these questions we can refer to, and they are actually many CSR questions are kind of based on this kind of questions only. And right. also right. we get more questions like numericals or as well as theoretical questions like sir like we have internet in our fingertips right now of course so if we just type questions or a topic we give like gene mapping numerical based questions on internet right. there are many international universities assignment papers will pop up and Correct. they are excellent for uh, doing the practice okay that's a wonderful uh Point to be noted, guys. If you are preparing, you want more questions to solve for Unit 8, just go ahead and type that particular topic and uh, MCQ or questions. Many international universities questions and assignments will pop up which you can solve. Okay. So, uh, ma'am, now we are almost towards the end of our uh, show today. So, when you were preparing for this unit, when you were preparing for your CSR, it uh, was the what was your favorite topic or subunit among all of them? Uh, sir, I love gene mapping. So initially, when I was exposed to, as I told you, I was I felt like I never studied genetics. It's just in my resume, but I have nothing to know about know about it. But right. yes, but when slowly I went into that topic, I find it very interesting. And actually, sir, I yes, I did not go for engineering because I was scared of mathematics. But I was yeah. not bad in mathematics, so I kind of like the numericals that. So those logical right. questions where you have to 
apply the logic and come to a conclusion this twisted kind mm-hmm. of question i just love them and that comes from gene mapping so mm-hmm. like if your concepts are clear then you can solve it for sure and very easily but yes mm-hmm. without the concept it will be a challenge all right beautiful lines there ma'am so uh, now that uh, you know csi and exam is very near so one last message from your side some golden words for our students which will help them for their preparation for overall preparation something you would like to say so guys this is the time to buckle up not to rest this is the time you run fast even faster than what you are doing right now so try to practice more and more question and of course never leave the previous year questions because many times we are having seen that they are come like definitely they are not going to ask you the same question but kind of related questions are coming here so yes mm-hmm. biotech has many tools and this tough net book that i just described so it's an excellent like it's a collection of those previous year papers so last 10 year papers you cannot leave and sit with a timer also like it's not mm-hmm. that you are taking a whole day in solving uh, this 150 uh, questions that should not right. be there so you right. sit with a timer because choosing the correct question is also a challenge especially in right. part 75 questions only 25 you have to attend so how you choose correctly that also needs a practice and this is the task to start doing so all right everyone wonderful thank you ma'am for your wonderful words so ladies and gentlemen boys and girls my dear csi net aspirants that was tithi ma'am who shared her valuable insights on unit 8 inheritance biology genetics prime if i see it looks challenging it looks like you may not be able to win this chapter win this unit but with the help of the right guru, guru with the right, with the help of right dronacharya you can definitely ace this unit master this unit and kill every question which comes from this unit but very important thing you should not be scared remember fear is a paper tiger it doesn't exist in reality it just exists on paper right paper tig- tigers cannot bite you csir net is a marathon and unitate is that l- probably the last lap of that marathon so you should keep running fast you should keep your energies high you should keep your motivation high you should keep killing every question you should keep trying every previous question paper which comes your way and if you still need any help regarding genetics or any other unit for csnet you know where to go biotechnica the best place for csnet coaching and yes i know you must be having more questions related to unit unit eight so go ahead put them down in the comment section tithi ma'am will personally reply to them and i will see you in the next session next show episode where we'll be talking about unit 9 thank you so much for watching this i'll see you in the next one till then take care bye bye